flames going on! Somebody had tried to set fire to you! What, so you thought you'd drown me as well, did you? I'll call Mrs. Fairfax. You'll do no such thing. What could she do? I found this on the floor outside your room. I heard a scratching at my door. I thought Pilot must have broken free from his leash. You're trembling, Jane. Come and sit down. No, I mustn't. What? You want to leave me already after you've just saved my life? Do as you're told and sit down. Here. Keep warm. I'll be back in a moment. Why do you keep her here? And why does she hide herself away upon the third floor? Does she mean something to you? Is Grace Poole another one of your grand passions? Grace Poole? She drinks and laughs loudly. She disturbs me. I have asked Mrs. Fairfax about her and she told me that she has been with you for a long time. Grace Poole is one of the servants, Jane. Yes, well, she might have killed you. But you were there to save me. You were my guardian angel. I knew you'd do me good the first day we met. I could see it in your eyes. The expression, the smile was so lovely. And now I'm in your debt. There is no debt. Good night, sir. Where are you going? Back to my chamber. Not without taking leave. Look at me, Jane. Are we suddenly strangers again? Are we? Take my hand. I can't. Am I so repulsive to you? No. Even strangers shake hands. Such a little warm, delicate. I want to go. 